Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we're going to be discussing the Nike N7 SB Dunk Low which did just release on Hibbit and also a few other locations. going to be really giving a review and discussing why I like this pair, the unique features on it and that'll be really the topic of this video. So I hope y'all will enjoy. Again, if you want more content like this, feel free to check my Instagrams down below or y'all can subscribe and like for more content like this. Let's try and hit 200 likes on this video. If y'all want more unboxing content just like this and if you want to learn, uh, learn excuse Excuse me. How you can source more profitable sneakers like this or ones just for your collection? Check us out down below at Hype Labs. We can teach you how to buy. We can have botters run for you. Again, our undermarket pairs that we do for members every day, profitable clothing backdoors, free food codes, and so much more. So don't miss out. And you guys can see everything offered there and join that waitlist. The waitlist is free to join and you can get all your questions answered on the site. See kind of, uh, you know, basic explanation. But that's really it. I hope y'all will enjoy. Don't miss out on your opportunity to cook with us and get everything. Everything from free food codes to learning how to bot to undermarket deals to online loops for cash so yeah see you there don't miss out we also just expanded to europe canada and asia so again you're from any of those areas we got info for you and eu aco is on the way so don't miss out but let's get started so again this is the red colorway right here uh i will have the black colorway soon to review and i've been getting uh, a few pairs of these in to review and i recently said that i really wanted to get the sneaker in hand because it is on it's such a clean pair and very undervalued uh in my opinion but i want to show you all the box uh for these as well i do think they had a very unique drop and we'll discuss that in a second uh, but you guys can see there's the N7 logo here, here, and also on the top of the sneaker, as you all can see, and also uh, the front. You can see it's a pretty big logo right there, and then also there is the sneaker tag. A very, uh, you know, kind of different box, pretty unique style. You all can see this is not anything like your uh, ordinary pair of SBs, and nor are the details on this one. They're a lot different than, you than you know, what you would usually have for uh, an SB, so that's, you know, one thing that I thought I would mention. It also has uh, this unique feature on the box until we all win. Uh, I believe this Nike and N7 collaboration, if I'm correct, N7 uh, is referring to the N7 fund, which is for Native Americans, and it like involves um i believe it's sorry it like involves like sports like it's like a donation fund towards um that like gives back to gives back to the native american community for like you know youth sports things like that but again i want to show you all some details on these so why don't we get into this pair right here so one of the first things i noticed which is a very uh you know small detail but a nice touch would be the suede tongue tag on these again you guys can see uh, one of the main details that kind of was uh you know throwing people off from these was that these don't have like a fat tongue on them and most sbs uh, or pretty much all sbs do but these do not uh, so that is one thing that makes them kind of stand out a little bit but you guys can see the suede tongue that is on these and i think these are very slept on because keep in mind uh that the prices uh, are you know again right now for this red pair around 140 to 180 so you're not paying too much for them and most sbs that are this clean do not go for this low so do i see these rising in price absolutely we're gonna have to give them a bit though since they're still hitting some nike shops you know like they were first come first served there so they're gonna be floating around uh shops for a bit but also um the fact is the fact is is that the embroidery and details on the sneaker are very very clean i want to show you all how it looks around the toe box right there uh, the only thing that kind of strays me away from the sneaker would be the canvas toe box because you know you know how people feel uh, about canvas it just you know it's very easy to get dirty you could easily ruin uh the pair but it is a skate shoe so it's not something you know you should be uh too concerned about this one would honestly look good clean and dirty and you can see some of the other uh canvas portions and embroidery back here uh kind of by the heel of the sneaker you got this floral design that is going all around the shoe and of course uh the nike and n7 logo there's no differences uh between the pair uh each pair other than the insole so you guys can see the back uh there by the heel exact same soup i mean i'm getting a personal of these these are the red colorway is probably my favorite between the two i mean i know the black one goes for a bit more but these is probably it's probably my favorite one between the set just because i know you know the black one's easier to wear it's a more kind of simple style but you know these these are crazy so and here is the uh you know kind of unique detail that we have between the two sneakers the insoles you can see one says n7 and the other says nike sv right there so very simple very clean design but i think that's what did it for me on these is that the clean design fits and not to mention uh you guys can see the swoosh is very very unique you can see how uh, all the stitching for you know how it was stitched on uh, on both the pairs and then of course the soles uh, of these as well this is another part that i want to show to you guys because this, this is really uh another part that was really cool that kind of icy sole design that we have on these but also then you know you can see it's a red colorway but then boom it really stands out right there you got these like red bottoms so 
again, Nike did their thing. I'm definitely getting some of these to hold. I mean, this is already a pair uh, I've gotten in, and I just think that, you know, these are going to continue to do well. So we got the N7 SB, super slept on, in my opinion. I think the prices uh, definitely reflect that because uh, they're not going for, you know, those typical SB like 250 plus or like 200, 220, you know? So that, that's kind of a good thing. They are a little bit different. I know some people uh, are not feeling these, but for me, I'm feeling them. I think they're slept on. I think it's a great and easy to wear summer sneaker. And with how, with, uh, you know, how people have been treating dunks recently, right more just kind of like personal pairs i mean people have always treated dunks like personal pairs but a lot of dunks have really gone uh sb dunks especially have gone for some seriously high prices so with these if it's a good pair you just got to give it time and that's the main thing i'm going to be giving these is time so again i think the details stand out i think they're just being a bit slept on because they dropped on hibbit and nike stores uh and of course on sneakers but the stock wasn't really too crazy across these places like we've seen the restocks for them but it's only been for like the super small sizes so the kind of bigger sizes like 8 10 11 again people are just quick selling their pairs right now but i think it's a big uh you know kind of opportunity that we have so again if you got a pair recently I definitely recommend keeping it. If you got your size, I definitely recommend keeping it. Also, I'm going to be getting a pair of these for the personal 100%, probably in the red colorway. But let me know, uh, between the two, which one would be your favorite? For me, it's this red one right here. And I mean, these are just, in a year, these are definitely going to be more expensive just because the you know unique box, different details on them. Uh, and there's also another pair of N7 SBs that are pretty valuable. So yeah, and also Nike loaded these up quick. You know, it wasn't like there was a lot of hype really promoting them. Like if these had been promoted more, oh yeah, I mean, these, these would be going absolutely insane. So that's one, one thing, you know, a, lot, a few things we can say about them. So the unique details between them, them being a little bit different. I know uh, they aren't like padded around the heel, right? Like there's no padding here or, you know, on the tongue tag. So it's a lot different. It's like a really cut and kind of skinny shoe, but yeah, we love the N7s. These are, these are fire. So am I getting pairs of these in the red and black colorway to hold? Absolutely. Very unique. And I'm getting one of these for the personal because I, I need this colorway. But that is pretty much everything I can mention for the Nike SB and N7 Dunk Love review. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this pair in the comments. Which colorway do you rock with more? And again, if you want to learn how you can source more pairs just like this, get more pairs to hold for good prices, that's what we do in Hype Labs. It's not only show you how to do that, but we have our undermarket deals, profitable clothing backdoors, things like that to help you profit more as a reseller. And again, our guides and different monitors that can help you cop those restocks that randomly drop on Hibbit for pairs like this, other things like that. Uh, you know, different flips you can make, like, you know, using consignment to your advantage to make more off your sales. So tons and tons of things you guys can take advantage of. So I hope to see you all there down below. We should have a giveaway for an SB coming soon. So if you're a member, hey, you're going to be able to get entered into that. And yeah, tons and tons of things on the way. So I hope to see you all there down below. We even got, again, like free food codes, homework help. So it can, it goes from, you know, sneaker related stuff, learning how to buy to under market deals, to things like that. So we got everything y'all need and hope to see you there. But that is really it guys. So let me know how y'all are feeling about the N7 SBs. Are you getting a pair to hold on to? Are you keeping these? I'm definitely keeping some of these because I need them. And I mean, this is just clean. I mean, easy. Uh, it's like not too hard to wear. It's a very, very simple, uh, you know, kind of sneaker. You could wear it with a lot of things, but it really stands out on foot, which is kind of like, the, it's a really cool collection piece. That's what I'll say. And also the unique insoles, another nice touch. So that's it. I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hope to catch y'all in the next video. Or hi Excuse me messing up my you know i'm pretty tired right now but or hype labs i'll catch y'all there down below maybe yeah we'll see y'all in the next video soon though join that wait list and start cooking with this see you then guys peace